the kind of painting I like to do, the three-dimensional not to know Mary Newman. I had heard of her simply because I knew people who lived in her neighborhood and they had told me about a woman who painted the Ku Klux Klan on her house. Mary Newman is one of our special regulars that comes in. I mean the house was something anyone in the area or who passes through you know can't help but notice. Kind of interested and at the same time kind of curious and at the same time kind of on my defense about meeting her because I wasn't really sure what kind of person I was going to be meeting who, you know, paints people in sheets on their house. You know, I just, I like her. She's a free spirit. When I realized it was more than the house, that there was art being made in the house and some of it was for sale on our front stoop. <laughs> that was part of it too. Mary Alice Newman, very common name. You know, I had seen her around, you know, and she was certainly, that was a period like, well, that was the period when she was much more heavy set and, uh, you know, audaciously dressed. Anybody that's like lives around her knows her house and the controversies of her house and I mean, she walks everywhere, South Minneapolis, downtown. You'll see her walking along her very unique gait. She, you know, uh, I think first told me about some wrong that had been done to her by uh, the jury committee of this uh, art show that I was judging she was in. And, and, you know, she felt that she should have won and was kind of upset with the way the judging was handled and told them so. And they weren't hearing her, so she wanted me to hear it, too. And it was, I think it was kind of while we were on stage, kind of presenting the awards at the same time. Sadly, that's when she was sporting that, what I first thought was the port wine thing, and the face, and uh, the big discoloration. I was attacked with uh, a severe skin disease that made me look like a burn victim. When I first saw Mary Newman, like I was a little kid, and uh, I thought like, wow, this is a Certainly an interesting individual, and I, you know, was a little bit uh, frightened of her. You know, when you when you see somebody with piercings all over their face, you know, it, it can take you aback at first. But uh, it's it's more her demeanor and and her personality. It, it's very wry. It, it can be kind of dark. You know, I take her as fed face value and uh, and gotten to know her well enough. But but she has, she's got some form of a chronic leukemia and that that kills you but gives her a lot of bone troubles so she's beleaguered with a lot of health problems and you know I saw her walking with the most notable one and then her gait also yeah sister kidney real big rehab is center they have a jury show every year for disabled artists. Hi, Mary Newman. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, you look beautiful, dear. Thank you. Got a piece in the show? Yes, I do. Two pieces. Ah. I love yours here. I love that piece. Or where it was just, it was somewhere. Down that right way, did you be yeah. a part? Okay. Then I got a house in the sculpture section. Oh, okay. House beautiful on work. wheels. Beautiful work, Mary Newman. Yeah, but we didn't win anything. The disability shows like Sister Kinney, Art First, um, whoever other disability shows, they don't charge a jury fee. You just submit slides, CDs, or photos, and I have been very successful with disability shows, and I've never been accepted by a mainstream jury show, and that includes the state fair. But five years ago, I started entering disability shows, and I always get in. 
Well, yep, this is good. I like the house. I, I like the house better than this one. But the honorable mention is only fifty bucks. I know. <laughs> but you got an honorable mention. Just one. Yeah. Well, well that's all right. That's nothing. Yeah, uh, was fifty bucks for honorable mention. It's nothing. I could spend five thousand dollars of my savings in art materials. I do have two pieces of Mary's in my house. So uh, you do. Yeah. That you would donate for the silent auction. Oh, so. you took advantage I did. of that. <laughs> I actually can't. My wife bought it. So. Oh, so. your wife must be a real sweetheart. Well, her name is Candy Hart. So. <laughs> oh, there. Now you got good footage right there. H A R T. She didn't want to become a Dunn. Imagine that. Didn't well, want to be Candy Dunn. She must love you. I think so. I have entered thousands of mainstream art competitions and I have not been successful. Year after year, 40 plus years of rejections, then they charge for a jury fee. the dolls a lot. I take their feet and their arms. Sometimes heads have heads sticking out of houses. How about having a house on wheels? Wouldn't that be nice? No. It's amazing. There's a house in Minneapolis, in South Minneapolis, that's painted like that. I started to paint my house in 1990 after 21 years of art gallery rejections, and I realized my house can give me publicity. 